Mr. Robinette, what you have done is very wrong. What you did was monetize off of someone else's work. You, you monetize this an excerpt a written excerpt written and recorded by her and well that was your first mistake I was I was subscribed to you for a long time not anymore but I was and when I seen this video and I didn't only see it by myself. I saw it with a group of friends. And we watched it once and a half. And the uproar that went on in my house. It was, it was ridiculous. It was absurd. What you did was you, you painted yourself in a browner shade than you are naturally we call that blackface around here you're a very smart guy you're a very smart guy I'm under the impression that you kind of knew what you were doing but that still doesn't excuse the fact that it was a stupid move These are a series of videos to help you think, right? Did you think that was a good idea? To go find your most tattered t-shirt like, like you went out of your way to find this t-shirt? I mean, is that the t-shirt you wash your car in? That, that you do your gardening in? Because I'm under the impression that's what the fuck it looks like. Videos that make you think. At what point, actually, at what exact moment in your thought process did you think doing that, painting yourself brown, was a good idea? Was it when you were trying it on your hand? Your arm? Was it when you were in the mirror? Putting it on? Even though after you did your whole face, you still didn't think it was a bad idea when you got down to your neck, when you got down to your collarbone, it was still a good idea? Seriously. And to think that you're doing us a favor by bringing us this essay, by reciting it to us, this essay, and this isn't about the recital of the essay, because that part of the video was actually very well, but it was a very well scripted essay to start with. And what you've done is taken that woman's work, painted yourself brown, and come on YouTube looking like a nigger. And I don't mean nigger as in, um, you know, black person, African American person. I mean nigger. Because you're arrogant enough to think you can get away with it. And yet, you're ignorant enough to do it. Now, what I've done was, I've researched the copyright laws, permission, um, application. And, well... 
the administrator for the copyrights office happens to live in my town and I would like to give her a call tomorrow morning and just ask her what she thinks about this or ask her to get in contact with Phyllis Allen and ask Miss Allen what she thinks about this do you think that she wrote that poem that essay for anyone else to do in the manner that you presented that in Mr. Robinette this is one spoon you're not going to force down my throat I mean and your performance I mean I like how you threw that soul in, in I mean I've never seen your face so animated I saw all your teeth all 36 of them I, your eyebrows moved and and I was you know I was so taken in I could have punched the shit out of my plasma so in closing and there won't be no fancy jump cuts edits Mr. Robinette when you see this video and you actually stop and think about what you did because I'm sure you've had a lot of time this will be my last say to you rotate on it